guys and welcome back to vlogmas today is tuesday before i start today's vlog i wanted to go over something with you guys while i'm eating my cereal guys this is legitimately the only food that i have left in my apartment which is fine i'm leaving in two days i'm gonna try to stop moving the table but you guys there is basically a glitch problem going on on youtube right now that you may have heard about from other people but um basically it's affecting a lot of things it's affecting i believe people's views but mostly i think it's an issue with youtube unsubscribing people from people's channels without them knowing like it's very very weird i don't know if it has affected you guys it's definitely affected me and all of my friends like everyone has been talking about it views were really messed up like a couple days ago they might still be messed up i'm not really sure i genuinely feel like people are unaware some people are unaware of what's going on because no one really like youtube why you know why is this happening essentially what you guys can do to help yourselves is if you're if you even found this video first of all was this video in you guys' subscription box or did you come from twitter did you come from snapchat did you come from you know just knowing that i'm doing vlogmas um let me know in the comments below right now where you came from i guess um if this was in your subscription box or you came from elsewhere this girl i was watching this girl's snapchat story that was explaining it but i guess you know when you go to the video when you go to the video page and it either says subscribed in gray so that's like you're already subscribed or it's the red subscribe button because you haven't subscribed um i guess it's like if you were clicking that red subscribe button to re subscribe yourself it was actually unsubscribing you kind of confusing but what i would recommend doing is just clicking on the name of the person such as on this channel it's going to say living like Lindsay." if i think it should be able you should be able to go to my channel if you're on a mobile device or if you're on a computer let me know in your comment too if you're on a computer or mobile device i watch most things on my tv and my computer but I know a lot of people watch on their phones. You should be able to go to go click on my channel, Living Like Lindsay, um, and you should be able to do this for anyone that you wanna do this for. And when you get to my channel, first of all, go ahead and see if it says subscribed, which should be gray and it's like a little check mark, that means you're already subscribed. Um, if it's a red button and it says subscribe, then that means you are unsubscribed. And if you would like to, I would love if you resubscribed if you happen to have been unsubscribed. Other than that issue, a big way that you can kind of get out of this glitch and that it cannot affect you so much for people's videos that you want to see are just by turning notifications on a lot of you guys may have already done this um, but I would really recommend doing this especially for vlogmas if you want to see like when these are first uploaded because I know a lot of people are doing vlogmas right now so if you want to see everyone's vlogmas when they're up and actually make sure you get to see it or whoever's videos you want to be seeing um, all you have to do is whether you're on a mobile device or a computer there's just a little bell and it should be next to the subscribe button if you go to you can go to um, my channel the same place where it's gonna say subscribe or unsubscribe there will be a little bell that you can click on and you click that and then you just click the check the box that says turn notifications on for this channel you'll just get a little notification on your phone like you would if someone tweeted you or emailed you or something like that or you can get an email sent to you when that person uploads so I would really recommend doing that um, because you're just probably not going to see people's videos otherwise unless you're like actively you know checking their twitter or something like that so if you like my vlogs and you want to see them you can go ahead and turn notifications on i would appreciate it but um this is for anyone that you guys watch that you don't want to miss their videos if you guys know more about what's going on with the youtube glitch or if you guys have more information i would love to hear in the comments below let's kind of like start a discussion because i personally myself am still like not that sure i know that um, I'm gonna talk to my network manager hopefully tomorrow I believe I'm seeing my manager tomorrow before I leave and I'm gonna ask her what's been going on because I'm sure she has a little bit more insight that was a really long intro to this vlog <laughs> and I'm gonna finish my cereal now we might as well I guess upload upload whoa I've been talking about YouTube for too long. I also posted on my Snapchat story today. You guys will see this tomorrow, but I posted on my Snapchat story all about the glitch and I showed you like easily in steps how to fix it for yourself. But what day is it today, you guys? I think it's, are we on a new row? We're on 13, I think, right? Yes, we're on 13. 
Happy December 13th. I always think of Taylor Swift's birthday when I think of December 13th. Like she, I feel like has a really famous birthday. I mean, obviously she's extremely famous, but I feel like, cause 13 is like always been her lucky number. So I feel like I've always remembered December 13th, Taylor Swift. Happy birthday, Taylor. Not sure how old you are, but happy birthday, gal. I will see you guys um, in a little bit. I'm probably gonna take a shower. I need to go to the post office and drop off those orders from yesterday. And I'll probably see you guys in a little bit after that. Fresh out of the shower now, and I have a really moisturizing product on my face right now. So I'm kind of like, I'm a little greasy, but um, it's this like Glam Glow Thirsty Mud that I'm trying out for the first time. So it feels really good on my skin though, like really good. I think I'm gonna wear it on, put it on my skin before the flight on Thursday. I am about to venture to the post office now and then I'm probably gonna go and get a coffee after that cause I don't know, I feel a little bit like just out of it. I could use a coffee to whip me into shape and then, you know, get some stuff done. I feel like I just need some energy right now, so. about the vlog for a couple hours but I've been in the zone after I had my coffee I'm still feeling it honestly <laughs> I need to eat some food actually I had a bagel when I went to the coffee shop but that was like four hours ago no it was it was not it was like three hours ago but guys I've been in the zone do you remember how much stuff was in here look how much is in here now two pairs of boots that i'm well it's like four pairs of shoes and then like three clothing items maybe four so i am seriously about to finish my picks for depop and then i really need to eat food but i have to get this done look at my hair it looks kind of insane but i also kind of like it i just <laughs> woofed down a subway sandwich i was gonna vlog it before i ate it but i was honestly too hungry to even show you guys my sandwich. I was like, I have to eat right now. And I feel a lot better. I don't have hardly any food right now. Like I have a few snacks and things like that, but it's cause I'm leaving, you know? But um, I was just so focused on taking all of my pictures for my depopping that I was neglecting myself food, which is not good. I don't ever like to do that. I love to eat all of the foods. So I was just thinking like the last 45 minutes while I was doing it, I was like, food, 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 food. But I didn't want to stop because I was like, I'll just have dinner after, it's my reward. Like after I'm done finishing, I'll have a beautiful meal, <laughs> my subway. <laughs> but yeah, I'm wearing a giant hoodie. My friend Zachadek made me this while well, he like bought the hoodie and then he ripped it all up. It has like a ton of rips and it's just super oversized and my head's cut off. I'm about to go over to Kenzie's um, just for a little bit just to hang out with her I have to give her her private Twitter award trophy because she wasn't there and I think she said that Andrew might be over there But I'm not really sure. I'm probably just gonna be over there for like, you know a little bit Yeah, I am gonna do the Q&A portion of this vlog when I get home tonight so I can like have more comments from you guys I will see you guys at Kenzie's. I would like to present the award for Beverly Hills Dog Mom <laughs> to Kenzie Elizabeth. Oh my god! <laughs> Not so her high five. Sorry, we'll get to you. Okay, sorry, Not sorry. 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 Technical difficulty, people, okay? And we're looking at, of course. <gasps> Here you go. Andrew, what are we currently trying to do? Well, um, you forgot the corkscrew. Me, he forgot the wine opener. I was not asked to bring a wine opener, but I would have. He, and it worked out okay, but we can only get it this far, so. So we now we have to take things to another. Mm. Wow, wow, that was pretty efficient. That was really good. I like the little cool. pop, Here we go. like when you open oh, a snap. <laughs> <laughs> the She's naked ready. grip. She is ready for us. All right, guys, I'm home from Kenzie's now. I had a really good night with her, a little wine night, and I am going to do the Q&A portion of the vlog now. I'm 
my lighting for my computer is lighting me up right now. So, I am going through my comments on yesterday's vlog. Thank you guys if you left a comment. If I couldn't get to yours, I apologize. I'm gonna try to get to as many as I can. One of the top comments is, what made you wanna live on your own instead of have a roommate? This is from Taylor. And I'm not opposed to having roommates. I think I will have roommates in the future. I definitely in the future see myself living with Megan again. We lived together for a year and that was really good. I had never lived alone before, before this apartment. And I wanted to just see what it was like to live on my own. And I think Megan kind of felt the same way. Um, we've both just been really independent. It's so nice living on your own because you don't have anyone else's mess. You don't have anyone else's drama. You don't have anyone else's noise. You don't have anyone else's guess. It is literally everything is yourself, you know what I mean? And it's so nice, but it is at the same time a big responsibility and it's more expensive to live on your own than it would be to live with a roommate. So there's definitely pros and cons. Do you see yourself getting any more tattoos or piercings in the future? If so, where or what? This is from Floral X Beauty. As for tattoos, yes. I will probably get a few more tattoos. I can kind of see myself consistently getting tattoos throughout the younger years of my life. Maybe I'll reach a point where I definitely want to stop. Um, I don't think I want to be super tatted up, but I definitely want to have a few more tattoos. So right now I only have my two tattoos that are black and they're words. So I love them, but my next tattoo is going to be a colorful piece and it's not going to have any words and it's going to be on my back or one of my shoulder blades. And I know the loose idea of what it's going to be. It's going to be the base nectar symbol, probably coming out of a lotus flower with maybe some like vines coming off of it and things like that. But I haven't had anyone draw it out for me, so I haven't gotten it yet. But probably in the first half of seven, 17, 2017, I will get it. I'm so excited to get it. It's probably not gonna be that big. I envision it being, you know, a few inches. I really want a colorful tattoo for my next one and I definitely do see myself getting more tattoos. Um, and as for piercings, I might get a couple more piercings. I'm trying to think. I think I have all the piercings that I pretty much want. I have like, I think seven or eight of these and I get questions about these all the time and also compliment compliments about them all the time. I also have these two pierced on both sides but I don't have earrings in them right now. But these are my favorite piercings, at least as for my ear piercings go. I literally got them done at Claire's all in one day, except for one of them I think I had before. I would highly recommend, I don't know why I love the look of a lot of like silver piercings. That's just my thing. So, um, I don't know, I'm talking about my current piercings. It's not answering the question. I have a really tiny nose stud. A lot of people haven't even been noticing it lately. Asking, some people com commented if I got it taken out. It's because I used to wear a hoop and then I actually didn't have that in for a long time and I had to get my nose like essentially re-pierced or like get a new stud in it. So I just have a really tiny silver stud in it. And then I do have my nipples pierced. That's something that I haven't talked about, but I have that piercing and I got them done in maybe August and I love them. It was my most painful piercing, but I healed almost instantly. It's more of a piercing for yourself, you know what I mean? Like you're the one that sees yourself naked the most time, you know? So um, I love having them done because personally, like I don't have big boobs or anything, but it makes me feel really confident about my boobs like I started liking them more once I had my nipples pierced and um, I know some people will but I think it's a weird or like crazy piercing and, and I def I definitely wasn't interested in getting it done until people in my life had it done and then I saw theirs and I really liked them so yeah that's my most recent piercing and if you guys want me to do a video on my tattoos piercings and like a Q&A slash experience slash pain talking about all of that stuff I can do that. Let me know if you would want it to be on this channel or my main channel because I've been thinking about doing that video for a while, but if you would like to see that, definitely thumbs up this video and leave me a comment down below. Okay, that was a long answer, <laughs> but I do get that question a lot. Um, Caitlin McKinley asks, what are your top three favorite albums of 2016? Okay, girl. Well, I just started, I haven't completed it yet, maybe I will have by the time this vid is up, but I just started my best of 2016 playlist on my Spotify, which I have done this since 2014. It's my third year of doing this, but it's basically I put together a playlist of a few songs that were my favorites. They didn't necessarily have to come out in that year, but they're my favorites of the year. But my three favorite albums of 2016 were probably Blonde by Frank Ocean, Anti by Rihanna, 
and unlimited by base nectar yeah so all kind of different but I think those were my top three favorites. I also loved um, Dopamine by Borns, but I didn't really get into that until maybe September or so. But that's a really great album as well. Heather asked, what is your biggest fear and where do you see yourself in 10 years? I think my biggest fear is probably like me getting really sick and it's really painful or somebody very close to me passing away. Um, and that's like really sad but that's probably one of my biggest fears. Julia Just Beauty says, would you ever be interested in getting an internship or another job besides YouTube? A lot of people thumbs this up, 44 people so far thumbs it up. So this is a good question. And my answer is definitely. Um, I have recently, just recently in the past couple months, started to look into other things for myself and what's next for me not that i'm gonna be quitting youtube or anything like that because i don't plan to but um i definitely think in 2017 i will hopefully be trying something new for myself work-wise and what i see myself doing is something in the music festival industry so um hopefully i can get into festival production at least being an intern for that um i found an internship that's local that i am thinking of applying to, I'm definitely gonna try. I could either see myself getting into the music festival industry because that's something that I'm so passionate about and I would love to be able to work on creating and like the logistics of festivals. That would seriously be my dream. That's where I see myself going. And um, besides that, definitely like social media positions such as doing social media for a brand or social media manager or something like that since I do, you know, have a lot of experience in managing my own presence on social media yeah so i definitely think that hopefully in either the spring of 2017 or maybe the fall of 2017 i will hopefully either have an internship or an entry level job in one of those things maybe it'll end up being something different we will see but that's where i see myself going in the the future um too simple says what's your favorite video you've ever made on your channel my favorite video i've ever made on my main channel i think is from three years ago i think it's called how to love your life how to be happy and love your life something like that and it's basically just about me finding out about the law of attraction and talking a little bit about that and a few more things as well i haven't watched it in a while it's a very old video but um i love the message of that video because i think that's kind of when things changed for me and when i started really just trying to not like complain about little things in life and really just kind of trying trying to change my thought process and obviously that's like a journey that you go on but i think that's probably my favorite video that i've made okay this is a this is a good question and something that i wanted to actually address on this next question is from slajana slajana i might have pronounced your name wrong girl i'm sorry it's kind of difficult for me but did you stop working out slash working with a trainer and why are you finally comfortable with your body and if so how did that happen i haven't talked about this and i did stop working out and i did stop working with my trainer now my trainer who is incredible her name was carolyn her name still is carolyn she moved to san diego and um basically after i moved here which was over a year ago i stopped working out with her um she used to live a lot closer to me when i lived in west hollywood and basically when i worked with my trainer it was i think it was for maybe it wasn't even for that long it was maybe for like a it was maybe for like a five or six months period of my life where I really got into shape and I was super into working out and I would voice that to you guys because that was kind of a phase in my life that I really, really desperately wanted to get in shape. I think I had never been that out of shape when I went into my personal training. Like I don't think I had ever been like that unhealthy or that unhappy with my body. So I really wanted to like change things and I definitely achieved my goals. I think um, I look back on pictures from like summer 2015 and I'm like, fuck, my body was like, it looked so much better. I've definitely let myself go a little bit since then. Um, for me, you guys can probably, some of you guys can probably relate to this. Working out for me is a thing that it's just all about habit. If I'm doing it, especially if I'm meeting with a trainer, I loved 
doing that because I would have like these set appointments with my trainer and if I have like a meeting with you, I'm gonna go, you know what I mean? I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna make it if someone else is meeting me at the gym. The issue with me not having a trainer, and yes, I could just get another trainer, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I honestly can't afford to do that right now. Um, the thing is if I don't have a trainer and I don't have someone that I'm going to meet, then it's kind of like I'm not really gonna go to the gym myself. I'm not 100% comfortable with my body there's definitely things that i look at in the mirror and i'm not super happy with my lower stomach and i think my arms are a little bit big i think my thighs are a little bit big but i did get more okay with my body and for me i would rather eat what i want and not be stressed out about like feeling bad about what i'm eating and not working out i would rather like be enjoying what I'm eating so much and not like worried about it than be like on a strict diet and be like always worried about the weight that I'm putting on. I don't own a scale. So for me, it's been a process and I know this is so different for everyone. Like I definitely hope I can get back into fitness in the future, but it's not something that I've been into for the last year a little bit over a year like i don't we have a free gym in my apartment complex and i i don't really use it and i should i should definitely take advantage of it but i don't and i'm okay with that because for me right now it's just not something that i'm into i'm not into working out right now i'm not into eating that healthy i definitely feel like it's important to be good to your body but at the same time I, I'm kind of selfish in this way. Somebody asked me about being vegan. I definitely think maybe in my future I will try being vegan. It's, an, it's a lifestyle that I would ideally like to live. It's not that I have anything against veganism. I think it's the best thing you can do for the environment, the best thing you can do for your body, and I know that it's the best way to live. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys and probably some of you guys can relate to this and not judge me for this, but I'm at a point in my life where I'm not, I'm not prepared to give up the foods that I love and I'm not prepared to make these lifestyle changes to be 100% vegan. And maybe some of you guys think that's fucked up. That's okay. Um, but maybe some of you guys can understand that. And I hope you can understand that because that's just where I'm coming from honestly. And I, I mean, I could talk about this a lot more, but, Basically, I think I answered the question. I don't work out <laughs> anymore at all. I don't remember the last time I worked out. I will very occasionally go to a yoga class. The only working out that I do, if you can even count this, is walking around downtown. I'm not gonna say I'm 100% comfortable with, comfortable with my body because I definitely like think I could you know, lose, lose some pounds and definitely like get more fit. Um, but I feel good enough about my body that I don't feel like I need to be working super hard to change it right now. What do you say you've ever severely struggled with self-esteem? How has that affected your dating life? I'm not trying to sound intrusive. I'm just going through that right now and I'm feeling as though my low confidence is getting in the way of my socialization. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. I definitely have struggled with self-esteem. Like when I was just talking to you guys about when I started working out intensively, that was probably when I felt the lowest about my self-esteem. I hadn't been in a relationship. I hadn't really had anything ever serious with a guy. My first serious boyfriend was Michael, who I like showed to you guys and talked to you guys about. I didn't have my serious, my first serious relationship I was until I was 21 years old. I mean, I had like, you know, hooked up with guys and talked to guys and had things with people but um so i don't know how young you are and you said that you have low confidence and it's getting in the way of your socialization and i definitely can relate to that and i think a lot of people can relate to that even if someone's not going to come out and say that i think we can all relate to go going through phases or maybe going through just years long periods of time of having low confidence for me the biggest thing with confidence is learning to accept yourself and it's kind of it sounds i guess easier than it is but you have to accept yourself because no matter how much work you put in you're not going to become a different person you're always going to be you and that's why everyone always says that it's so important to fall in love with yourself before you can get into a relationship and 
I think it's really true. This is this is the hard truth. Nobody wants to be with someone that's putting themselves down all the time and that's saying like, oh, I look so ugly, oh, I look so fat, or whatever it is, like, I'm such a flop. I'm so guilty of that. Meg and I will always be like, I'm such a fucking flop. I'm just like, I look like shit today. I mean, I'll say that to the vlog and I put myself down. But if you're doing that all the freaking time, you're just like, I feel so shitty about myself. Like somebody's not gonna be attracted to that. It's kind of sad, you know what I mean? And we all go through, we all feel those things sometimes. Almost something that you just kind of go through with yourself and you kind of have to look at it like you're going to come across the right person, the right relationship when it is the right time, not only for that person, but for you. And this is something that an older person taught me. Relationships, and especially love, are not only about connection you feel with that person, but it's also about timing. And just because it's the right time in your life and you feel like this is my time to have a relationship, it doesn't mean that in the other person's life that you're gonna end up being with that it's their time, you know what I mean? So that's when relationships work out is when you're both on the right page and where you're both on the right timing. I would say, girl, just try to stay positive and accept yourself, that's the biggest thing. Um, it takes time, but just know that like you are going to meet the person that is like supposed to be with you when it's the right timing for both of you and i know that's like you guys some people might not believe that but i definitely believe that and that's why right now i'm super okay with being single i have never felt so good being on my own and being independent and i'm gonna be completely open and honest with you guys like i love being able to have no ties. I love being able to flirt with whoever I want. I love being able to get to know someone and not feel closed off to that because I'm with someone else or talking to someone else. Um, I love being able to meet people and have connections with them and have experiences with them. And I, I genuinely do. That's I'm at this point in my life where I just want to meet people and flourish. And you know what I mean? Like if we have a friendship connection amazing if we have a romantic connection amazing you know but i don't and maybe this will change i'm sure it changes when you you know meet that amazing right person right um but i don't want to be tied down i don't want to be i'm not saying i don't want to be in a relationship but i kind of think i'm better off right now being single being single <laughs> but i know it's hard when you've been a single for a really long time and you're lonely and you're like craving that person Jackie asks, have you ever thought about moving to Atlanta? And um, that's where I'm from. Well, I'm from north of Atlanta. I'm from Johns Creek. But I don't really plan to like pick up and move to Atlanta. I don't really have anything to do there, I feel like. I'm definitely, since I moved to the West Coast, I feel like more of a, a West Coast person. Like if I was gonna move, I would probably stay on the West Coast. I love the Pacific Northwest. Um, I love California, Oregon, Washington, Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, I love places like that. So I'm not saying I would, you know, never move back. I definitely could see myself moving back potentially like temporarily. For example, if I wanted to like save money or if I was traveling and maybe I needed to keep my stuff somewhere, I could always keep my stuff in Atlanta in my parents' house. Like that's always an option. Maybe that'll end up happening, but I don't really see myself like moving there for, I like to visit there, but I don't like, need to move there all right i'm gonna answer two more questions and the first is when you do have a family do you think you'll live in georgia and raise your children there and if not where do you plan on settling down love you lindsay this is a little bit similar to the question about moving to atlanta um i don't really want to get married and have kids right now I know I say right now, but I don't mean like being 22. I mean, I've had this thought process for maybe two years or so. Obviously you guys, if I meet someone that I wanna marry and I wanna start a life with, then I, you know, will do that if it's the right thing for me and if I, you know, feel like that's right. But I, I do not want to have kids, I don't think. That's just me. I don't think everyone should get married. I don't think everyone should have kids. I definitely understand that that is what so many people want. But for me, I have never dreamed about my wedding. I have never dreamed about what I'm gonna name my kids. And um, 
maybe it's selfish, you know what I mean? Maybe it's selfish, but I definitely see myself settling down with someone and living with someone and being with them long term. And if we decide we want to get married, we will get married. Um, but this is all just in the future, you know what I mean? And if we decide we want to have children, if that's really important to the person that I'm in love with and they want to get married and have children, then, you know, in the future we'll make that decision. But I'm really going off on a friggin' tangent here. <laughs> I don't see myself ideally being like, oh, I'm going to go back to Georgia. Um, just because that's where I'm from, I don't have that many ties there, you know what I mean? I don't even think my parents are going to live there for that much longer. I think my parents kind of like want to move. Um, although they're probably not gonna move for a little while. Like I said, I love the West Coast. I could see myself settling down somewhere in California. Um, there's a lot of like great places outside of LA to, you know, like raise your family. Probably just somewhere on the West Coast, but like it totally depends on if I, you know, meet someone and where I meet them, you know what I mean? Like it could end, it could be in a different country for all I know. I'm not really, I'm not one to plan more than like two to three months in advance of my life. I'm really not. So that's kind of a hard question for me to answer, but I definitely like the question. Oh, there's a lot of questions that I want to answer all of them. I want to answer all of them, but the last one I'm gonna answer because it has a considerable, considerable amount of thumbs up. Besides, would you ever consider getting a roommate again? The answer to that is yes. I would totally live with a roommate again. I'm probably gonna live with Megan in the future and Larry and Squirtle, <laughs> or dogs. Um, but, and I'm not opposed to like having another roommate in the future. It totally depends on like where I would live and where I was at with like money. If I, if I needed to have a roommate and I wanted to live somewhere really bad, for example, if I was gonna end up moving to San Francisco, I would probably have a roommate unless I was gonna have like a, like a smaller apartment. The last question I'm gonna answer is, how is it like to live by yourself with it? Which I did already answer that, but you said, I just turned 18 and the thought about it gives me anxiety, leaving my childhood house. How has your experience been? What's the most difficult or challenging thing you had to go through when you live alone? I get this kind of question a lot and I think a lot of people that live alone get this question a lot or just like about leaving your family. And for me, it wasn't something that was super hard for me. I totally understand like some people might not want to leave, but I personally really wanted to leave. I wanted to get out of Georgia. It has benefited my relationship with my parents so much being far away. Um, and that might sound like sad or something, but we've gotten closer. When I get to see my parents, because I don't get to see them that much, it is so amazing. Like I started to appreciate my parents. I'm talking really fast right now, but I started to appreciate my parents so much more. We needed that time away from each other. You know, we lived in the same house for since I was freaking born. And I needed that time when I moved away from my parents to like, just be my own person. I'm like screaming right now. I hope I'm not waking anyone up. Leaving your childhood house, you said, gives you anxiety. Um, I didn't feel that so I don't I can't really give advice on that because I didn't feel anxiety when I was leaving I was very excited to leave. I was obviously like sad about leaving my friends and my family, but I was mostly excited um, But you said what's the most difficult or challenging thing you've had to go through when you live alone probably just not Relying on my parents for anything not relying on my parents to pay any of my rent, not relying on my parents to bring home groceries, not relying on my parents or my mom to make me meals um, or to, I don't know. There's just a lot of things when you live in a house with your family, you know, your parents are pretty much gonna buy the food and you probably don't have to pay rent if you're living with your parents. So there's a lot of benefits to it. You know what I mean? If you're trying to save money, I definitely think it's cool to like live with your parents and save money. That's the best, been the most difficult or challenging thing. But for me, I was prepared for that. Like I, I know this isn't something that everyone can relate to, but for me, I was so lucky that by the time I was 18 or when I moved out, I was able to fully financially support myself. And that's something that I'm so proud of. And I've still been able to fully financially support myself since I moved out. And that's something that I feel so good about. My parents haven't paid for a single thing for me other than they, you know, gave me a gift or something like that. Um, since I moved out of their house, probably since I was 17 actually. I mean, other than, you know, maybe like my mom buying groceries or things like that, you know what I mean? But um, it feels it feels really good. And like I said, I know that's not something that everyone can relate to. Like most people move out of their parents' house and they go to college and they're studying and working and probably working a job that isn't, you know, full-time or something like that. So like, I definitely don't think it's something to be like, 
ashamed of or anything like that or feel bad about if you're if you have like if you get money from your parents or you get money from your grandparents or like someone in your life um i definitely like think it's just a personal thing but i have been so proud of myself and so happy that i have been able to be financially independent since um i was you know 17 18 and moved out of my parents house i think i went off on the question but <laughs> That's gonna be the end of this vlog for today you guys because it is 1 34 a.m And I'm gonna go ahead and start editing this vlog if you made it to the end comment Lindsay's real name is Lucinda. Let's start a rumor you guys <laughs> If you made it to this point comment Lindsay's real name is Lucinda. I don't know why I just thought of that But I love you guys and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I definitely am gonna try not to edit it too much I saw someone's comment. Um, shout out to you if you commented this. I don't remember who it was, but they said, do a Vlogmas with absolutely no editing. Maybe I will do that. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. That would be definitely interesting to do. Okay, I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog.